filled with airplane peanuts. But I always like making people laugh. Like I used to do a similar yeah. thing when I was a child at the lunch table. We'd get some kids who were mentals or a couple of them might have been mentals and a couple of kids that were well, you know, and we'd get there and sit them to make them drink milk. And then tell jokes and do stuff and t- tell the one of them just blew milk out of their face, you know? And if you get some straight up, just a couple mentals, boy, some straight up sawed off humans, you get them to, dude, you get them to for straight up blow leche out their dome, dude. That's America right there. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I knew I was like, oh, I got some kind of a gift here, you know? I almost blew the throat out of this one boy. Yeah. Almost threw the this Jesus. almost blew, blew the throat out of this this one boy named Tot T O T was his name. <laughs> kind of a bad name too to be mentally challenged, but also easy for him to spell. And I'm not joking. That's what his father said. And um, easy for him to spell backward and forward. Same name, Tot. So that's true, man. <laughs> was this guy's real, his name was Tot? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so laughing at him? It's just a funny sounding name. That's all. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it so was pretty funny, yeah, I guess. Tot. Yeah, well, you know, let's tot. talk about Tot. Sometimes like, he would just say T O T was his name, but I yeah. knew it was Tot. Yeah. He would try to spell it out, and, you know, like he was tricking me. In that town, they'll scout you out when you're like a little. Like really? the, the high school coach will go to the middle schools and, and like, you know, size you up. Like, yeah. They'll like, they're like kind of like. They just scout you out. They're mm. like, "Ooh, yeah, he's gonna be." Does good. it feel illegal? Is it dirty over there? Or is it just kind of? What do you What do you mean by that? I mean, it just sounds like. <sighs> I mean, it's crazy. Like a lot of these, you know, where is Poway? First of all, exactly. Where is it's? It's more inland, like Escondido. Yeah, yeah it's not like. Oh, I thought it was in damn Laotian or something. I think you guys were Laotian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like Yo, this island or something. No, man. You're talking about the fucking it's airport? It's San Diego. No, it's oh, San Diego. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's not Leo. Well, dude, just get out of town. Jesus. You act like some guy's coming down from the fucking mountain. No. Or coming no. down from the volcano and picking you guys out <laughs> off the branches, no. man. No. Jesus Christ. No, it's, uh, it's a place in San Diego. Oh. It's a town in San yeah, Diego. Yeah, we'll fucking get it together and yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, I had to look. The first yeah. audition I ever had in town, I remember being so scared. I couldn't even open my mouth in an audition room. Well, for, what was that for? I don't remember. Not oh, even okay. something big, but it was at E. It was at the E Network, and mm-hmm, I remember I mm-hmm. could not even open my mouth. And I was like, can you guys open the window or something? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, the windows don't open up here. We're like on the 26th floor of some building. Yeah. Like, the, the windows don't open up here. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what kind of shitty company doesn't even let you kill yourself if you want to? <laughs> so did you do like the open... Mic circuit in LA. Yeah, started doing open mics here. Like at Marty's or where? Like at mm-hmm. uh, the they Comic had a Meltdown and stuff? No, they had a place uh, over on the west side of town. I lived. Yeah. I was sleeping under a buddy of mine had a bed and I was sleeping under his bed for $150 a month. Oh, wow. And sometimes even in his bed sometimes <sighs> when he would be out of town or when he would leave for work, I'd climb up into his bed, dude. And I've never been heavily homosexual, but I will say this, that... There's nothing really gayer than getting into a man's warmth after he's already left the room, you know, and climbing up into his bed. A man you don't even really know that much, but still catching that hit off of his temperature, you know? It's funny. It's true, man. Yeah. You go over to somebody's house, dude, who you don't know that much, and when they leave the room and get the get, get out of their bed, you get into their bed. That should make you a, never told them that, though. That should make a man out of yeah. you fast, dude, or it won't. But you find out who's who pretty quick when you're doing stuff like that. Yeah. You know? Are there a um, lot of any Asians in your town? <sighs> Let me see. I remember seeing... The first Asian I ever saw... Well, I saw some drawings, right? <laughs> I remember definitely seeing a lot of drawings when we were kids of Asians because they're easy to draw. So a lot of kids would draw Asians, right? After that... True story. The next Asian I ever saw, the closest real Asian, was that picture in the Guinness Book of World Records when there was like an Asian, like 17 Asian kids on a bicycle. Remember that one? The famous yeah, picture? Yeah, yeah. That's like, it? No. That was okay. just the first. I was like, holy shit. Look what they can do. You know? And it made me like, but it made us do cool stuff on our bike and like see what we can yeah. do. And then there was a rumor when I was about 14 that there was an Asian boy. There was a rumor there was an Asian boy about 17 miles away from us. And me and two of my buddies, one of them who had a 
bad neck. This fellow had a pretty bad, you know, that fifth appendage, the neck. People don't think about it. You got to strengthen it. And his was real lean, barely hold his head up. He almost had to, he almost had to walk around like this and also hold his head up with one of his arms. But he and I and another kid uh, got together and decided we want to go see this Asian, you know, this rumored oh, Asian. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we saved up money. We cut grass for about six weeks and saved up money to get a taxi. Just went, to see this guy? Yeah. Okay. Went to Slidell, Louisiana to uh-huh. go visit him. And Well, you just went to his house? No. It was oh. the address that we got. Oh, you, you, how'd you get this address? Dude, you can get information. Okay. <laughs> okay. And this is back before the internet, too. So uh-huh. this is when you'd ask around. Yeah. And then guess a little. Mm-hmm. And we, uh, we went to see him and tried to go see him, but it was just a... Uh, Oh. It was a uh, Chinese food restaurant. Oh, he's a Chinese guy. It wasn't a real Chinese person. It was just, I think, some kind of white people in hats. And it was like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it might have been like a Mexican Jewish guy running it. Oh, that's weird. But it wasn't any, no real Asians. So it was just a myth. So we went back, man. It cost us about $70. Oh, jeez. Um, and then I had some abandonment issues, actually, when it came to Asians for a long time because of that. And then they had a kid named Jason Desport that showed up when I was in junior high school. And people used to always, people that had this group at the time called Whites Against Mexicans. And people would attack him sometimes, even though he wasn't Mexican, because he was like closest thing we had to a Mexican. He was, he was Asian. Pretty much. Korean, Chinese, Japanese. He was kind of like, what is the happy ones you would see like on some of the posters with the rosy cheeks kind of? <laughs> Jesus, I don't I don't like wearing a know. diaper, like sitting in a tub. I don't no, man. George, help me out, man. What do you mean, George? <laughs> George, dude? help me out, <laughs> dude. You can't I don't know. phone a freaking Icelandic guy. Ilani. You're Asian. Ilani. What's he talking about? What's the happiest of the age? I mean, this kid was probably happy, kind of same skin tone as Ilani. Filipino? Yes, he could have been Filipino. <laughs> He was a Filipino guy. Beautiful guy. Yeah. The only, yeah. I, the only thing I've even seen in the past probably 15 years was The Incredibles. Have you seen that? No. It's about like a cartoon family that <laughs> gets, um, gets uh, they kind of fight amongst themselves, but then they also fight crime. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's the only one? I'm new Blade Runner? I, saw. I never saw any Blade Runner. Uh, I saw no, any Fast and Furious. No yeah. it. Oh. oh, I tried to see s- s- Saw? Train. Oregon, Secrets of the, what is it? Asian Killers on the train. What is that? Uh, Orient uh, Express. Murders on the Orient Express. (laughs) You know it. Murders on the Orient Express. Piece of shit. If you haven't seen that yet, how about this? I'd rather spend 30 bucks, take an Amtrak, see real crime. Hell yeah. Way better, dude. Take your son, daughter. You know, side piece, whatever, on a $40 Amtrak ride, you know, two cities down, two cities back, half the afternoon, beautiful scenery, sit in the club car, way better crime. Probably buy some jewelry off of somebody who's a mason and uh, and much better. But do you, you yeah, never bombed though, right? Did you bomb it all in the beginning? Yeah, I've definitely bombed a few times. Yeah. yeah. You know, I bombed the other night somewhere. You I mean, still? Yeah, it was just sometimes it's a weird crowd. Sometimes it's... You know, it could be a strange. Sometimes during the year, there's just a weird night or two where everybody doesn't. Yeah. Everybody doesn't do well. Yeah, I I op- I try I try to do it. I try to do. You try it. to do stand up. Yeah, really. And, um, I opened up for Bob at the Tempe Improv. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no, and it was it was a packed crowd. Yeah. And I had because uh, I was hitting mics and everything. Yeah. But I did this cowboy rap thing. Uh-huh. It wasn't even a bit. It was just me, you know, doing the thing and. And I bombed horrendously. Damn. Yeah, it was painful. Oh, damn. So they kicked me off the other shows. Really? So, yeah, well, I knew something wasn't right because I did my thing. I didn't engage the crowd and I just did it. And the God. MC had to save me. The MC no had to way. go, hey, anyway, <laughs> come on, really? let's get off the stage. That's, wow. And so I just remember, I because uh, you've been to the Tempe Improv. Yeah. You have to walk through the crowd to get to the green room. Yes. So oh. I remember I remember walking like I was just, I like I thought I did good and I was walking by all the crowd and they wouldn't even look at me. They're oh. just like, like that. And I'm like, and that that's when I'm like, oh. I, like I, a I, whore I, in the 1700s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so I was in the green that room stings, and my brother man. goes, uh, I'm proud of you mm-hmm. that you went up. 
But uh, yeah, they we don't we're they don't have time. <laughs> yeah, they, but he want he was trying to save my right. save you know right. He was trying he to didn't want to be, tell me that the manager went up to him and said your brother's cut. Right. He just said, uh, yeah, you could go home. Yeah, you just drive, drive back. You could drive back. Yeah. Damn. Because yeah. there's two other shows. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, yeah. Was that a bummer or not? Oh, it was painful. Yeah, because I heard got it from my mom too. I guess my brother was texting her when I because I went to Del Taco. Got, I, goes, I wanted tacos. And yeah. I bought tacos, drive through, and then I went home. And my mom knew I didn't do well, oh. so she was getting on me like asking about the bits. No. And like, what did you do? And I'm like, yeah, I was just doing a cowboy rap, Ma. She goes, that's not comedy. And I was no. like, you don't know comedy, Ma. <laughs> you know? I went, I stormed upstairs. Damn. And then my brother went in. This is in Gilbert, Arizona. Yeah, my, my mother's in yeah. Gilbert. And so my brother went in later that night into the room and he goes, C can I talk to you? And I go, yeah, what do you want? And he goes, I just have a few suggestions, man. Let me help you write. Mm. And then I got really defensive at that. Mm. I go, I know comedy, man. I was like, just really like stubborn, you know? Damn, dude. Yeah. That's like a weird, like a. Yeah, it was like just a weird, weird like, man. I, yeah, it was painful. And that was one of the last times I think I did it. Yeah, it yeah. seems like a weird foreign kind of Eminem. Yeah, it thing was going very on. weird. Yeah. I, not, like Yemen M. <laughs> Where's Yemen? <laughs> Where's Yemen? Yeah. Uh, Middle East. Yeah, Middle oh. East, yeah. Man, if it was yeah. Asian, that would have been a good one. Yeah, that would have been real good, yeah. I could write my own raps, Bob. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Valenzuela was our dad's name, Richie. <laughs> I can draw the cartoons, you know? <laughs> okay, so this is a Maltese. Yeah. Where are they from? Malta, obviously. Yeah, but Malta. the thing is, is that if they, say you're in our town, an animal would just go by. Like a dog? Could be. Could be yeah. something else. Tall... We had some tall, I don't know what they were, came, but came by once. Um, what else do we have? Um, animals. Mm -hmm. Livestock. Cats? Cats. I grew up in a near a um, hamster and guinea pig breeding area. Whoa. So you'd have tons of those sometimes getting out. When they got out, you'd see, you know, 700 fucking guinea pig go Damn. by. You know, and it's beautiful if you've never seen it. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Chimpanzees, a lot of chimpanzees. There was monkeys. No, I was the little guy. I I was a nine, like a hundred and three pounder. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I was a little guy. Yeah. Do you feel small? Or you feel? How I do you feel on the inside? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Like whatever. I mean, I'm yeah. just like a regular height. You know, I'm like yeah. six foot tall. But you are probably what? How do you five four five six? Yeah, I'm like yeah five four five. five. I'm a buck. 35 buck 40 if that when you get up out of bed is it eat is it like it seemed like you get out of bed really quick at that i, I can um i'm kind of like my brother because we like rely we you used can to get in the refrigerator can't you if you wanted if you took the shelves out i, I probably could if i like That's cool, crunched yeah. up yeah yeah <laughs> like i'm just trying to think of fun things you like seem like you could probably do if you were um, just like kind of a more regular height you know or just like your unique height you know yeah like not in a bad way i'm just yeah. like there's some things if i look at a place i'm like oh i, I can't get under that or i can't do this mm -hmm. you know how tall are you how jump on that person's back or anything. Yeah. Like you seem like you could be more fun probably. Well, like what do you mean by that? Like I think people look at you and like, oh, this guy's probably more fun. Yeah, maybe. Like I if don't they had know. a more fun yeah. contest and you had a hundred people <laughs> who's more fun. I bet, I, I bet could, 80 of them I would like pick you. I like having fun. Yeah, I like yeah, having see? fun.